I was working at Quirky as a, as a web designer and, and front-end developer, and you know, for a really long time I had been wanting to get into specifically like kids' media. I figured that board games would be a really great option, and once I thought of the concept and the game mechanics for Code Monkey Island, everything just sort of snapped into place. The game teaches kids about assignment and variability. Taking an object and assigning a state or a value to it. I believe that programming is such a valuable skill to have right now. It's, it's so marketable and it unlocks you in so many ways. But even if you don't go on to become a programmer, these mathematical skills that you can pick up from playing the game are still valuable as a kid growing up and learning about the world. Every day of a Kickstarter campaign is such a roller coaster. We hit the funding goal within a week. And then for about a week and a half, two weeks, it was, it was very slow. And you're just waiting for new backer alerts. I guess the third day until the campaign ended, I sent out this update to all the backers saying like, you know, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna hit it or not. We're gonna do our best. Within those three days, we surpassed our stretch goal by almost $10,000. There's all sorts of horror stories on the web about Kickstarter projects that got funded but ultimately failed because they either didn't budget well enough or some part of the fulfillment process just completely destroyed them. There's a ton of information out there, you just have to go out and find it. I found my manufacturer off of this board game creator forum called Board Game Geek. Finally doing a project that I was truly passionate about and seeing that passion reflected in strangers across the world was, it, it was completely unreal.